Okay, well, this is the new and improved builder's kit made with the pin one board. Okay, and because of that, it makes it a little bit easier to hook everything up. It's basically the same package as my previous builder's kits, uh, but uh, a little less wiring to do, and it's just a nicer overall kit. So, figured I'd get started and show you everything that it comes with. So first of all, the main board, power supply to run it all. You get 10 solenoids. The smaller kit comes with eight solenoids, just like before. You get a plunger, the button board with all the buttons ready to go. The medium kit will come with a shaker motor as well. And you also get the light bar with the extreme kit. Here we have also a uh, service board that's available. You can add on to it. It just plugs in right on the side of the board there. And uh, this pin one board also has a dedicated output for my knocker board that you can plug into there as well if you want to do that. Uh, but that's pretty much everything that you see there. I don't know if you got a chance. Yeah, the shaker motor, it's kind of off to the side. Um, but running everything is pretty simple. Now with the button board, since it can be all powered off of the main pin one board, you just run these two ribbon cables up to the top of the button board and then this is the main part of the button board. I also added a plunger input on the button board so that you can connect your plunger directly into the button board which is close to the front of the cabinet so less wires to run to this main board and then of course yeah it's just these go to the side flipper boards. <laughs> There's also the addition of a an RGB fire button input on here as well which wasn't available on the older button board. Uh, so that's, I mean, so that's good connecting the button board. Uh, the, and then uh, the expansion board, you only need one of them now because this has so many outputs. So you only, you only need one expansion board and that's only if you have the light bar. So in the expansion board, you just run this one four wire cable out of the pin one board into the expansion board and then the expansion board does need a power line going to the power supply and then it just uh, the ribbon cable from the expansion board output to the uh, the light bar and then of course yeah the shaker motor just plugs in right over here I can show that a little more up close so if I look at this guy, you can see here's the shaker motor connection right here. Here's your main power connection, which goes back to the power supply over here. And then these are your solenoids. These are six through 10 solenoids. And then these plugs here are your one through five solenoids. These two cables are what's going to the button board. This cable would go to the service board if you opt to get one. And then this four pin cable is what goes to the expansion board. There's actually two sets of pins on there so that you can connect a second expansion board directly to the main board, or you can chain it from the expansion board. There's actually like tons of rows of pins so you can kind of chain it however you want from the expansion board to the second expansion board if you have, if you have even more uh, needs for more outputs. And then you can see the expansion board has this this line going directly to the power supply. So that's pretty much everything as far as connecting it. I'll just show you real quickly how you can test this thing. Since I have everything set up here, you can connect to the board. And then just go to your outputs. And there they all are. I like to just use this guy. I can use my arrow key to just kind of cycle through. So that's solenoid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then there's a couple of, that would be like, that's your shaker. Ooh, kind of goes crazy over there. I'll show you that real quick just so you can see. Uh, yeah, some shaker. And then, then you'll start getting into the output. So you see the the RGB lights are turning on. I'm actually going to turn them all off real quick. 
and then go back through again. So the uh, if we look down in here, you'll see output 16 is where it starts for the button board outputs. And button 16 would be the flippers left and right. Red, green, then blue. And then you'll get your um, your right magna save, red, green, blue. Your left magna save, red, green, blue. And then this one, let's see, it's actually labeled on here. That's your extra ball, then coin, then launch ball, then start. So extra ball, coin, launch ball, start. And then this last three are your is your fire button. So fire red, green, and blue. And that's it. And then we go on to the light bar. So if I move this over, you'll see yep, the light bar is flashing. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And these are super bright, these LEDs. These are not like your traditional uh, button LEDs. These are like super bright. So you can make them less bright if you want, but I like them nice bright. And that's pretty much everything. That last output on there on the expansion board, you can see the expansion board lights up with which output is lit up. That last one would be for the strobes if you have those plugged into the back of the light bar, which I don't in this setup, uh, but the strobes are something that you can add as well. So that is pretty much all the outputs. If I exit the screen, uh, the rest is pretty simple, but if I like, go to the plunger, you can see the plungers go in there, and if I move this in and out, see the plunger work. I can do, obviously, the accelerometer can be tested here. Okay, I kind of move my board around and see the accelerometer moving. I don't know if you can even see that on the screen. I can test. And then the last thing is just the inputs, which is pretty simple. You just go in there and you can click all the buttons and see them all, all working. I won't go through all those. But, uh, oh, there is the service board here that I can show you. So if I push those, then you'll see the service board buttons activating as well and that's pretty much it so if you get the builders kit you'll get this kit I have a video showing installing it installation is pretty much the same it's just a matter of plugging in some different ribbon cables on the different setup and yeah it's a simple thing to do and you can see that's the pin one board lighting up all the buttons automatically because it's not getting any input signal from DOF which again I think is just a great feature because it works no matter what you've got. Even if you don't have or aren't playing a game with DOF, you still get at least some buttons lighting up. You could actually configure it to light up the light bar as well if you wanted that to happen. But uh, it's pretty, pretty nice setup, pretty easy to install. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time.